everybody <laughs> welcome to another ride along with goggles and uh, this time got something different yet again <laughs> so uh, it's the uh, GMC Astro from uh, oh boy what is it ATS is it legend classics or something oh man I forget I'll put a I'll get it and put the link in the video um, there on Facebook and uh, some fellow Canadians uh, they're in uh, uh, Ontario Harwood Ontario or Norwood I think and um, yeah that's pretty cool I uh, got a hold of Corey and on messenger and I had this thing in minutes it was pretty quick so and I believe if I'm not mistaken it was I can't remember it was 30 or 35 bucks but I'm a sucker for the classics and uh, this is certainly one <laughs> my brother John used to tell me, Dan, if you ever drive an Astro, don't wear loose shorts. <laughs> People be looking up your pant leg. Uh, the, the windshield is, there's so much green, uh, you know, a uh, greenhouse in the front of it. That's a big windshield. But, uh, yeah, I don't think it's that bad. But uh, one thing I want to do, I just want to make a quick adjustment to the uh, seats. I got this set back pretty far. I'm going to just move it up a bit because it sort of distorts the view a bit. And uh, we might as well start it from in here. I want to see what we got going on when we flex switches. There's ignition on. Oh, there it's down there. The key is just down out of sight there. I don't know how to get it to go. Uh, it's crazy the way this. Uh, here, let's try again. Nope. <laughs> Gotta keep resetting my uh, Toby. I should get my keyboard out of there. Ah, uh, just keeps moving around. Okay, well, let's see what else. Where's the Jake? Yeah, there's the Jake. And brakes. Yeah, that all works. Trailer brake. Got the parking brake on. Uh, let's see, what else can we do here? Lights. Yeah, that's that top switch. Cool. And high and low beam. Oh, let's see, they move in there. Signals. Cool. All right, we better get going. This one's a, this is a rush job. Get those high beams off. Oh, what happened there? So you put the high beams off when they're on. Okay, yeah, no, that way that works. Everyone's good. Okay, and the tack looks pretty accurate. Nice. Awesome. I'm liking it. We got a airline pressure gauge there. You see it moving by the parking brake lever. That line pressure. It's got uh, oil temp, oil pressure, water temp, fuel, volts. Not a whole lot for like you know diffs and things. And but that's cool. It's got what we need. But the GPS doesn't seem to work. I better take a look at the map and just. So I've been looking for this load for a long time and finally got it. So it's uh, catch him to Missoula. That's just awesome. This drive here is just phenomenal. And uh, we've done it before. And we're going to do it again. So I just got to get out of here. Go up the highway there. Highway 75. All the way to. Through Salmon. Oh, we're just going to keep on going till we hit Missoula. All the way to that left at Lee Bear. Wow. Who needs GPS? Get that thing off the windshield. <laughs> All right, everyone's off. There we go. Lights are on. Oh, have a look at this thing from the outside here. You can see the front plate on it. We got Detroit Diesel on there, and I put one in it because, of course, GM. We got this sprayer here, it's an urgent delivery, so. Turn left. Um, the only thing about this truck, I couldn't paint the back of the cab. After 100 yards, turn right. So I put the skin for this thing up on, uh, right. not this, this, the skin for the uh, 
KSW352. Put it up on Steam today. Oh, what did she say actually? I think she said turn left. Yeah. Um, get some distance here. So, um, oh boy, I hope I did that right. We got traffic. Got to see a. Uh, I'm not off the map. Maybe I better have a look. Yeah, I'm off the map. Oh man, it's not just like me. Okay, let's uh, back up a little bit here. Short trucks, gotta love them. Yeah, we gotta go up here and turn left at that light. Turn right. Turn right? Wait a second. Turn left. There we go. Hi, girl. Yeah, there it is, Highway 75. So, uh, yeah, I did the uh, skin for the KSW 352, the STC or Salmon's STC trucking, and um, it's up on the workshop, and the I did a skin pack for this trailer today. I, uh, I had three skins for it already. I did 11 more and put them all together in a pack. It's not an overly complicated thing to do, it's just time consuming. But if you're interested and you have this trailer, when you use the uh, the the paint job uh, when you're painting the trailer, choose um, the painted deck and you'll get the, uh, I put uh, I think on every one of them, I put the country lo uh, company logo up on the front of the deck there. Oops, wow, cut that corner a little bit. Take stock of what I'm doing here. Get into the uh, rhythm of this. Once again, uh, fairly short truck. This is the long wheelbase. And they're shorter ones. <laughs> uh, but there's eight cabs and some of them look pretty intriguing. But I like this one because it has the uh, when you use this cab you get the old the oldest of the grills. This small grill. We'll get around the front again and have a look at it. You get that small traditional grill. The uh, other cabs tend to, now I'm, I can't say they all have the big grill, but uh, the double bunk has the big grill. And I, I would have preferred a double bunk cab on here, but that's what it is. Now we gotta, let's hop inside and look at this unit from this angle. So I made um, three of my hot rod motors for this uh, 8V92. I made a, a, a little bit weaker one than uh, my other two that I usually make for all the other engines. A little less power. And I'm using that one in here because, well, it's a small truck. We've got a small load. And uh, the trailer isn't huge, so... I didn't want to have too much power. Of course, you'll remember uh, with the uh, Detroit, uh, the 8V92, the two-stroke, we don't get a jake brake.
so we'll be riding the brakes a bit on the downhill. But one thing I gotta show you when I get a chance, oh, look at this view, eh? Wow. Is the uh, the template for this truck. Oh, there I go reaching for the Jake just <laughs> after saying he don't have one. Oh boy. this part of Idaho. I gotta remember the route my wife and I took here in Idaho on our honeymoon. Long time ago. We drove up the middle of Idaho, I remember that. Remember we were at Idaho Falls for some a while. And I can't remember what we, we went over to see that craters of the moon with the, that uh, lava flow thingy. And um, then we came back. We went to an old mining, abandoned mining place called Silver City, I think it was. And you drive, you drive quite a ways to get to this thing. And it's just, it's not a, I think it's sort of a protected thing, but it's uh, not a um, officially run park, you know, where they have rangers and, or uh, tour guides and guides. And, you know, they just have signs saying, don't do this, leave stuff here, don't take anything if you find it, that kind of stuff. You're on your own. That was kind of cool. Of course, I have no idea what would be going on there nowadays. But, uh,. That was pretty neat. Keep right. Yeah, um, and anyway, after we did that, we came back to the... I seem to remember we went up the middle of Idaho. I can't remember the highway. And then... Uh, the whole thing was we wanted to stop in uh, Sandpoint. I think we went over to Spokane and uh, yeah, Spokane. No, not Spokane. Oh man, I'm losing it. Anyway, <laughs> we did go to Sandpoint because there was a uh, Really cool home store there with really neat stuff like neat clothing and kitchen stuff. And my, my wife used to really, be, but when we met, that was one of her big things for decorating her place was uh, things she would get there. And so we went to the actual store. GPS doesn't work. Yeah, this is a little road that just keeps giving. It's so nice. You, know, you get to that little town back there and you think, oh boy, well that's it, we're out of there, but it gets you right back into it as soon as you get through that town. It'll start, it'll end pretty soon here. But uh, yeah, nice drive. Now I think that's only the third time I've been on it. Well, maybe four actually. A long time between trips. I was going to mention, uh, showing you outside the truck, what the point of that was uh, this template is the truck is really large on the template. And uh, so when I put things on, like the stickers on the side of the cab, they're really big. Um, they don't look really big on the truck, 
but they're really big in terms of pixels. So they look really good. Like you can read them from 20 feet. So I'll, I'll show you that when we get out of the truck or stop in a light. How legible they are. It's really a treat. Like as a guy, you know, you want detail in your skins. This truck delivers. There we go. Going for the Jake again. Jeez. That saying, you can always teach a truck driver, but you can't teach him much. <laughs> Actually, my, my uh, sister-in-law used to say that about my brother. You can always teach a McNary, but you can't teach him much. <laughs> yeah. There we go, we're catching up to 93. What a great drive that was. This isn't so bad from here up to uh, Salmon either, and, and uh, Salmon North to Missoula is also pretty awesome, so... Oh, it's going to too high a gear, that's why I couldn't get it. Yeah, if we look at these stickers, like they look really good if you get up close to them. Quite a load. It's got a uh, European plate on it. Keep right after 50 yards. Go straight. Go straight. You can like read the cat clean idle uh, stickers playing his day, but the other smaller ones, when you standing outside of the truck, you can read them easily. It's really good. Some of them you can read the fine print. Better hop back in. This road's windy, and we're in a hurry. Maybe the tack reads a little low. Darn, the tack's about 300 RPM low <laughs> instead of high. All right. It was accurate down at the bottom of the gauge, but uh, yes, when we get the revs up, it's not so good. I don't worry too much about over revving this motor when I'm driving it, because it's, <laughs> like I said before, Sounds like you're knocking the rods out of the block, and uh, it's just because it's a two-stroke. I don't think I ever take it to the red line because it's just. Go straight. If you're just driving it on ear, like by your ear, it's uh, you're not going to get too excited with it because it sounds like it's going to blow up. So I put uh, real Eaton Fuller in here. It, the transmission came with it actually has more transmissions than a John Ruta truck. Like which is it's one thing I bugs me about Ruta trucks is they have so few transmission options. Oh, I was going to put a 13-speed in it. This thing I don't know if we can see it there. It's got a 13-speed shift knob in it, the old style. I was going to put a 13 speed in just to be authentic. And I uh, forgot.
Yeah, in yesterday's video, um, I may have sounded a little subdued. I, I made that video pretty late at night. I was just back. So, if you're wondering uh, what was wrong with Dan, well, my eyeballs were in my lap. I was pretty tired. I really wanted to, I hope I did justice to uh, Recon's uh, map mod. And we're going to drive right by it on the way uh, with this uh, load. I think we're going to go right by it. Well, maybe we're going to, we're going to see it anyway. That's for sure. Lakers are kicking up a storm. Yeah, let's see. There, yeah, look, you know, the warning, you can read that. Uh, electronic driver's log. Oh. Yeah, you can read all the stickers. It's cool. So now we got the uh, Ford and the GMC, the CLT 9000 and the uh, Astro. That's pretty cool. is really nice up here too. We came up here oh a week or two ago. I can't remember what we were pulling for a trailer. It was probably some monstrosity. <laughs> probably something big. I know I came the other direction on my own with a turf like double. That was pretty neat. Seventeen hundred RPM right there where I shifted. You know, motor screaming. There's sixteen. Seventeen hundred. That's a pleasant enough truck. So on that KSW 352, if any of you have it, um, with that paint job that's that put up on Steam today, it's got uh, uh, paintable parts inside it in the interior. And if you choose the uh, painted dash plate, that's the uh, plate that goes on top of the doghouse. Um, I got the door logo, the uh, salmons over the STC. It's, it's on the, uh, it's painted on the uh, dash plate. That's kind of cool. I don't think I've ever painted anything on an interior before. Like uh, the other thing is um, the top console on the ceiling of the 352. I could not get the painted version of it to work right for love nor money. Could not do it. And I tried, tried, tried. And it's an advanced uh, skin, so you use accessory templates. And uh, there's a template for that piece. And I included it, painted it, put it in the accessories. And nope, it paints across the console. Uh, miniature version of the truck skin. <laughs> so 
If you like a little bit of psychedelic uh, weird stuff on your top dash, go ahead and use it. But you do have the option to, there's one option for paint and about eight or ten options for uh, a fabric covering, covering or more. So if you just cover it with the fabric, you don't see that. The rest of the skin came out pretty good. Oh, there I go, going for my Jake again. They did a really nice job of bringing this old truck up to spec. I got it to Corey, uh, hats off. And I guess he's got a partner, um, Jacob, I'm assuming. And uh, just based on that fella's uh, 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 PayPal account. And uh, thank you, both of you guys, for your work on this thing. Looking forward to more. Because I can't get enough of the old trucks. It's got style. coming up here. Nope. Some buildings. And some cows. Yeah, the Bitterroot Mountains, we definitely went through them on the old honeymoon. Remember that. There was a whole bunch. I can't remember all. There was like Cascades, I think. I think I gotta look that up someday just so I don't lose the memory, you know? To look at the uh, route we took and little towns along the way. That uh, Jay Painter, uh, I watch his uh, YouTube channel. He's an equipment operator, owner, business owner in southeastern Idaho. And uh, I think it's, is it Black Rock or something? I can't remember. Anyway, uh, yeah, he's entertaining and they, he's a really good mechanic. He works on his own stuff and I really enjoy watching him fix stuff. So, oh, we're getting pulled into the scale. 
We're gonna see why we've been going so fast, because we don't have much on for weight. That's right here. Or is it the next one? Oh no, wait here. Charlie, what are you doing today? 52,385, yeah, we're really light. Excuse me for accelerating on your scale. <laughs> that doesn't go that doesn't go over well. on that window right there. See how the headlights are in this thing. Oh, they, they light up the back of that truck pretty good. That fire truck. Wow, that's a short light. fun drive so far. I really like this. Man, it's one of the, the best in quite a while. Just in terms of sheer pleasure. Fun to drive, fun to row up and down the gears. Fun to do it with this old uh, screaming Jimmy. I'm going to have to do a trip in the CLT 9000 again sometime. What I might do 
I wonder if I should do... Well, you have to tell me what you think of this idea. Okay, so this is two cab overs with this paint job. And how many more cab overs do I got? I got one, two, three, four. I got four more cab overs. Should I do this skin for all the cab overs or what? I can't do the teardrops on the front of the uh, CLT 9000 though, because it's, uh, it's a little bit messy. I think we're in Missoula. Our shop's over there. Yeah, I was at a shop down there. We're turning left right up here. Keep right. Left. Get over After here. 50 yards, turn left. The left uh, signal light in the dash doesn't seem to work. Oh, they're just really faint. Yeah, it's there. It's just really, really faint. We'll get to check the lights uh, out after we get this load off. We'll see how the headlights look. Because it'll be dark then. Well, it's awesome. It's kind of funny, I, uh, <laughs> oh, okay, I think, well, we might even try just driving straight in here, we're short enough, um, but it's not the end bay, uh, we may not be able to, um, the, oh yeah, the, it's pretty wide, oh, and we don't have beacons, and I didn't turn the trailer beacons on, Ooh. wow, my bad, yeah, we've got to go into this one, I wonder if it's worth trying, maybe, Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Um, so what happened is I... Oh, I don't know if this is a good idea. I um, contacted Corey uh, last evening and uh, about the uh, truck and he got back to me about 3 in the morning and uh, I was... I, for whatever reason, I kind of woke up and I saw that there was a reply in the phone. So I went ahead and did purchase like 3.30 in the morning for my phone. And uh, that was pretty funny. And then I had to, before I could do anything with it, I didn't drag the truck out until after supper because I had, uh, today, because I had to uh, take one of my kids on an errand and I had uh, to finish the... Um, that skin for the uh, the KSW 352, and then I had to do that 14 skin pack for the uh, Traverse Hydraulic, and uh, yeah, it was just busy. And then I had to go, did went, did a grocery run, and so I didn't get to this after supper, but it came out pretty quick, uh, pretty good. So let's hop in and start up, see what we got for uh, lights. Oh yeah, you can, look at that. Awesome, this is going to make a great night truck. Cool. All right, well, thanks for following along, guys. I really appreciate it. And uh, to all the folks who've subscribed, thanks so much. Really appreciate that, too. And um, if you haven't subscribed, maybe give it a, you know, think about it. It's an idea. And uh, if... Um, like what you're seeing give her a thumbs up anyway um 
yeah, I look forward to more skins. I look forward to seeing what you guys have to think or what you think about the, the idea of more uh, cab over skins with this style for this company and, you know, make them a cab over company for now. Or uh, got to move on and get back on some conventionals. Anyway, um, whatever the case may be, I'm all ears. Take care, guys, and we'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now. Thank you.